train! Alright, sorry, it's a train from very far away. But there's a train down there. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Go and you here, hanging out with my goofy wobble head. I'm actually doing a lot of cleaning out and I'm taking out the newspaper and putting in paper towel for right now. And I will be ordering some Refty Chip really soon. I uh, just want to get my snakes off the of newspaper. Now that said, I still don't, I still don't 100% agree that uh, newspaper and newspaper print is harmful for your snakes. But I don't want to take any chances. You know, it is a lot easier for me to clean with the newspaper and a lot cheaper as I get it for free. Um, but I don't want to take any chances and I do need to get my snakes onto some Repti chips so that when I go on vacation I know that it's going to hold plenty of humidity. I do have somebody that will be coming in every day to check on the snakes, but I don't want them to have to do very much. I just want to make sure that they have good clean water and that's really about it and that everybody's in there and okay. So that's why I'm doing that. But So I'm changing all this out. I'm going to put everybody on paper towels for right now. Um, <laughs> you little goon. So, casino. Had a good time, um, not really my favorite place to hang out, but my wife loves it and it's a time that she can spend with her sister and we met some of her sister's friends, very nice people, we had, so we had a pretty good time. I did win, that's right, I won, I won 35 cents. I know, don't ask me for free stuff everybody, okay? I don't, I, I'm not that, I, don't, I didn't win that much, <laughs> I'm like joking. Yeah, I won 35 cents, I put $20 in the machine, I think I got it up to like $35. And then it got back down to $20.35 and I cashed out and I was done gambling. Yeah. <laughs> but we had a good time. And then I went and did the podcast, which is really neat. Um, we were talking about neurological disorders and ball pythons as well as boas. And um, Jay from Boxing Boa had a lot of good information about the JAG gene and things like that and things that I did not know about, which, which is really cool. I love to learn new things, always. Uh, but we also had a really good discussion on the spider gene and the spider wobble. Um, there's rumors out there and people saying that they are bred spider to spider trying to, you know, figure it all out and everything. And I think that's kind of interesting. Now, I wouldn't do it myself, um, but I think that's kind of interesting because, you know, money's not being spent in the scientific field that we need to find out what the spider wobble is, you know. So the person that's going to actually figure out what, what causes this neurological disorder in the spider, woma, hidden womas, champagnes, you know, and, and things like that are going to be breeders. And really that's the case. It's going to be other breeders figuring this out. So um, I would actually like to see that. Now comment below, you might disagree with me, but I would actually like to see that. So if somebody is breeding a spider to spider, um, I hope it's somebody with a lot, a lot more knowledge, especially more knowledge than me, because it won't be me doing this. But in documenting, that's what we were talking about last night, that they really should document. Uh, Marshall Morse, I believe, is it what Marshall Law Morse was actually saying, that it would be really neat if somebody actually just documented it, you know, videoing and writing and, and keeping track of every single little thing, um, and that maybe we can kind of figure out what it is that actually causes this in these different morphs. I think that's very interesting. And um, I hope over the next couple of years, somebody with... Um, a lot of knowledge in ball pythons um, might be able to do something like this. Now we're discussing, you know, I decided, like as you can tell, this guy's got a really, really bad wobble, and because of that, I choose not to breed him. Uh, but the overall sense, consensus last night was that um, just because he has a bad wobble doesn't mean he would necessarily pass it on to his offspring. Which, to me, you know, again, there's not enough research out there, but um, it, it did change my mind. I kind of said, well, you know what, I think that's quite possible. You know, I guess you wouldn't know until you try. So it is possible one day I might breed him. Um, and there's a good possibility that I won't. He is just a great ambassador snake for me, and I love him to death. And I know he will lock up because long ago I did have him locked up with a normal of mine. Um, nothing came of it because I couldn't get my temperatures right in that cold house over there, um, which was fine. But uh, So I know he loves the ladies. He doesn't have that won't be an issue. So maybe in the future I just might do that. You know, um, and I kind of hope to see more research done on the spider gene. And, you know, they say that spider to spider is a very lethal gene, and that's scary. And you don't really want, you know, do something that's going to, you know, cause a bunch of eggs to go bad. And that's a lot of stress and work on the female for, for you know, little to no reward. Um, but I think it's interesting and worth the scientific end of it, you know, figuring this out. Um, I think if somebody out there that knows a lot about ball pythons was to do this and document it, like Marshall Morse was saying, 
um, that it would be very beneficial. And I, and I have to say I agree. So that podcast was awesome. We had KB Reptiles in as a guest. It was really cool. If you don't know their channel, check out the link below. Pause this right now. Go subscribe to them. Lots to offer. These, this is a husband wife team with some awesome kids and really, really cool collection. Working on a lot of awesome, cool stuff. They already have clutches going right now. They've had clutches before. Um, and I think they have a lot to offer the community, just like we all do. So pause this. Go click on their link. Give them a follow. Come back and finish the rest of this as I'm almost done. So I am switching all my newspaper out to paper towels, getting some Repti tip chip ordered so that when I leave on my cruise, they can uh, have very little to do when they come in. They can just make sure they have good, clean water, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't want them having to worry about humidity and stuff, so I am going to go to a Repti chip for the summer and when I leave, and I might go back to the paper towels during the wintertime. Now, just because I'm taking the newspaper out and switching it does not necessarily mean that I 100% um, think that newspaper is bad for your snakes. As I've held snakes on newspapers for a very long time and never seen an issue with it whatsoever. But that's not to say that there could be a problem and an issue. You know, I don't want to take the chance, so that's why I'm doing it. So I don't judge anybody else that keeps their stuff on newspaper whatsoever. I'm not, I will not be judging you at all, at all. i got to switch to the Repti chip anyway so that uh, I can keep humidity while I'm gone. So that's why I'm doing that. But, you know, to me, it's not worth taking the chance. You know, if there's a dryer in that soy ink that they use for paper that um, could be harmful, then, all right, so newspaper's free for me, but I can pay a little extra money. It's no big deal. I mean, care for your snakes is, comes first. Uh, Jay Boxing Boa, I'm, I'm very, very sorry to hear about your female albino there, that she had the one egg and that she was kind of bound up a little bit with the egg. Um, it seems like you took care of that, and I'm very happy to hear that, that Mom's doing just fine. Um, that was awesome of you to share that. Again, uh, your message was heard loud and clear from me about don't be afraid to reach out and ask somebody else um, with, with a little bit more experience, hands-on experience. I mean, he, his, his words in those, that video were excellent, you know, that it, you can have all the knowledge in the world, but hands-on experience um, is, is very important, is very useful. So, uh, great, great, great sentiment in that video. I totally agree. All right, so casino, 35 cents up. Yeah. We did get a room comp, which was awesome. Um, they would not let me film in there. I mean, I told them, I'm like, don't you know who I am? I'm going Uber. They laughed and said, we don't know what a going Uber is. <laughs> no surprise. Uh, but it was funny. Um, and we had a pretty decent time. Again, I'm not a big gambler, but my wife had a good time, and that's all that mattered to me. So I'm going to get back to work here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Sorry so late for uploading again. It's just, um, just not enough time in the day. And I only got two hours of sleep, so I actually got to bust out a bunch of stuff here and change everybody out. And then I got to get my son from baseball practice, go home, do a bunch of housework, and then I'm going to lay down and take a little bit of a nap. Hopefully tomorrow's video will be out bright and early in the morning like always. I love you all. See me. Bye.